Let's go to searching the train by time because it is the first stop. There will be nobody else on the Shinkansen before you. The review on the Apple Store is really, really bad. And a couple of people have actually commented on my other videos saying that the app sucks. Hi friends, my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share some of the Shinkansen helpful tips and just information that I know from my research to help you plan to ride your Shinkansen for the very first time. I only took two Shinkansen rides, one from Tokyo Station to Shinkobe, and the second one is on our last day in Japan from Kyoto Station to Tokyo Station. I was staying at the Hilton Tokyo, so it is actually pretty close to the Shinjuku Station. And I believe I could have also taken the Shinkansen from the Shinagawa Station, so it could be a little bit cheaper, but I decided to take it from Tokyo Station. And the reason why is because Tokyo Station is actually the first and last stop for the Shinkansen that is coming from the Kansai region or the west side of Japan. This is especially helpful if you are going to ride the Shinkansen on the unreserved car because it is the first stop. There will be nobody else on the Shinkansen before you so you would have a higher chance to actually get the seat that you wanted if you have the unreserved ticket. And if you are riding the Shinkansen for the very first time, I would highly, highly recommend actually taking the taxi from your hotel to the Tokyo station because that is exactly what we did. And when we got dropped off at the Tokyo station, you'll see all of this big sign for where the Shinkansen platforms are. But in my experience, it is just so much easier and less stressful for you to take the taxi to Tokyo station. Before we move on to the next part of the video, I just wanna let you know that I finally made a new freebie that you can download today. I've been sharing a lot of videos about my recommendations and my travel tips around Japan and I finally created my 12-day Japan itinerary that you can download. So if you wanna check it out, the link will be in the description box down below. Another helpful tip is to actually arrive early to the station. If you decided to board from Tokyo or any other Shinkansen stations, just in case you get lost or just in case you wanna get those really delicious Aki bands for your train ride. I would highly recommend getting into the station about 30 to 45 minutes before your departure time. That way you do have time to go to the bathroom if you want to, you do have time to buy those Aki bands and also have time to make sure that you are at the right platform as well as lining up at the right car where you would be. You can get the unreserved seating. Usually it would be from car one to three. For the trains that I took, which was the Nozomi, I think there are 16 cars total. Car one to three is for unreserved ticket and then four to 16 are for reserve tickets as well as for the green car which is the business class of the Shinkansen or something like that. I honestly didn't really do a lot of research because it costs more and I just want to get to my destination with the cheapest way possible so I didn't really look into the green car. The next tip that I have for you is to take the fastest train and in this case I want to say it is Nozomi because obviously you don't waste time. It will take at least two hours. You are tight in time. Make sure to get the fastest train so you can get to your destination faster and then you can do more things. And this last tip is probably something that you have heard before and that is to get the E seat, D and E if you are a couple because that side of the Shinkansen is where you can see Mount Fuji. I also like this seat because D and E is just a two-seater. If you have never seen the photo or videos of a Shinkansen on the regular car, there's actually two different sections. On the left side, there's three-seater. So if you have family, obviously it's better to get the three-seater. But if it's just you and someone else, riding the Shinkansen with you then get the other side which is just the two-seater which is DNE and that is probably one of the best seats because you can see Mount Fuji on the way to like Kyoto and then on the way back. Another tip that I have for you is to obviously go see Mount Fuji not just see it from the Shinkansen and I do have a vlog that I've uploaded probably a few weeks ago about the seven best locations to see Mount Fuji. You can definitely see Mount Fuji from everywhere once you are in the area. The only thing that you want to print hope for is to go there 
there on a clear and sunny day so you can see Mount Fuji. A couple of people have actually mentioned that if you really, really want to see Mount Fuji, make sure to spend a couple nights or so there. So in case you go to Mount Fuji on one day and it's cloudy, you still have a couple more chances to see it in person. Before we move on to the next part, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, but you have been enjoying my videos about Japan, make sure to subscribe because I will have a lot more vlogs and recommendations and tips videos coming right out. So you don't want to miss that. Now I'm going to try and remember, well, actually I'm going to start recording my screen now on my phone. So the way that I bought my Shinkansen ticket is through the SmartX app and you can download it from the Apple store. It has like really bad reviews. I have no idea why people have really bad experience with it, but speaking from my experience, I had a pretty seamless interaction with the app. I was able to buy my tickets pretty easily. So once you are on the app, this is how the homepage would look like. And I would go to this option where it says Shinkansen tickets. And if you click that, on the top, you can see that you can search the train by the time by the train and you can also just get your non-reserve seat ticket on the app and then the way it works is you basically just pick a departure date and then from which station i would say tokyo and then for example you want to go to kyoto and then make sure you indicate if you have two adults one child uh, make sure to do that and then search because it is a non-reserve ticket, you basically could go on any train at any time as long as you go on the unreserved car, which is usually the first three cars on the train. So it's just gonna pop up the departure date, the route, Tokyo to Kyoto, and the number of people that is gonna be traveling with you. And then you see that the total is 33,300 yen, and then you just click purchase. With the unreserved ticket, that's basically it. You basically just want to buy the ticket for the day you want to go on the Shinkansen, and then and the station that you're gonna be boarding on and getting off at and that's about it before moving on to the next thing in the video I just want to interrupt this video really quickly just to invite you to subscribe to my channel I think 98% of you who are watching my video is not a subscriber and I would love it for you to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos about Japan about cruising travel hacking and so much more. I hope to see you on the next one. And now let's get back to the video. So now let's go to searching the train by time. Honestly, I've kind of played around with the by train option, but I feel like you have to enter some more stuff. So you have to enter a train number and I wouldn't know. I mean, there is a schedule you can download. I will leave that link down below as well if you want to see the timetable for all of the Shinkansens, but it's just easier to look for the train by time. So let's do that. Let's pick a departure date. Let's do with that. And then, uh, departure time 9 15 a.m. That's fine. Let's do Tokyo and Kyoto and let's do two adults one child like before and click search and You'll see here all of the trains that are available after 9 15 in the morning You can also see with the little circle that there's a lot of tickets still available for all of these trains and you can also see the train name and train number which is on the left side here nozomi 317 nozomi 215 hikari 637 and so on and you can also see the train type i guess all of this that i can see is the series n700 with 16 cars just kind of look through the different time and also the arrival time if you're worried about that and then once you kind of figure out which one you want to book just click on the option and then like I mentioned ordinary car is just a regular car green car is the business class type and you can see the difference of the fare over there on the screen but I would just do ordinary car here you can select your seat I actually like to just view the seat map so I can see where I can place myself on the train on the top here you can see that you are looking at car 5 non smoking you can also select that and see where the smoking room is which car and then if you want to avoid that Make sure you don't pick like car 14, 15, or 16 because it's close to the smoking area. If when you're looking at the different car, if it's full, you can always go to the next car. Oh, this one is really full. 
Okay, so just play around with where you want to sit and stuff like that. But once you figure out which one you want to choose, so just choose your seat and then click next. You will be able to purchase right here. Just make sure to look at the time, the route, the number of people and stuff like that. And then click purchase and then you'll be good to go. So once you purchase the ticket, you will get a QR code on your app and then you can use it a few different ways. You can actually designate an IC card for your Shinkansen ticket. You can also just go into one of the, the ticket machine in the station and then just scan your QR code and exchange it for the paper ticket and then that's how you would go through the gate. And another tip that I have for you is to use American Express credit card. For some reason, Visa and MasterCard did not work with this app. Leave a comment below if you have taken the Shinkansen before, which one is your preferred method? Did you get the JR Rail Pass? Is it kind of too expensive now because of the price increase from 2023? Did you just buy your Shinkansen ticket on the spot at the train station before you head out? Or did you actually reserve and bought your ticket beforehand through the SmartX app? And what is your experience with the app? Because the review on the Apple Store is really, really bad. and. A couple of people have actually commented on my other videos saying that the app sucks but to be honest with you, it was a pretty seamless operation and experience for me so that's why I'm recommending it to you.